And they're off. 42 teams, 42 solar cars heading out of Darwin, Australia into the outback to begin a 3,000 kilometer race across the continent to Adelaide. Each car travels as far as possible between sunup and 5 p.m. About halfway through the race, the Nuon solar team is leading. So we're looking at satellite images from this morning and we can actually see the clouds uh, developing and shifting uh, to the east. And this is very important for us because uh, this helps us to decide what speeds we're going to drive and at what moment we'll be uh, in certain areas where there's a lot of sun. These are not your grandfather's solar cars. The leaders are cruising along at an average of 80 kilometers per hour. And the racers are from all over the world. This one is from Tokai University in Tokyo. The Nuon solar team is from the Netherlands, and there are U.S. cars from Michigan and from a high school in Mississippi. So we were invited, and our car competes at the t Texas Solar Challenge back at home, and we're very competitive where we are, so we wanted to bring it on a more upper scale and to see how we do. The challenges are to keep the cars running and to stay healthy in the unrelenting heat of the outback. Uh, yeah, it was quite, uh, quite hot, um, so we have a... Uh, uh, part of the, of the day driving, and then it's just the rest of the day resting uh, in an air-conditioned car, so that's uh, a bit better. Eating a lot of salt and uh, drinking a lot of water, that's uh, quite important. Home country favorites, the Western Sydney solar team are in third, and they say they're pleased with their progress. Overtaking takes a lot of energy that we would otherwise not want to use, um, so we feel very happy to be in third, but we don't have to overtake that many cars leaving Darwin. The race is currently expected to wrap up this weekend in Adelaide. Kevin Enix, VOA News.